Hey, what's up? I'm Raya, and today I'm guiding you through fixing common game issues like crashing, freezing, not launching, getting stuck, or showing a black screen. Let's dive into these steps to get your game running smoothly. Step 1. Update graphics drivers via Device Manager. Click the search box and type Device Manager. Open Device Manager, expand Display Adapters, and right-click your graphics card. Select Update Driver, then choose Search Automatically for Drivers. Click Close and exit the windows. If the issue persists, move to the next step. Step 2. Download Latest Graphics Drivers. Open a web browser and search for the latest driver for your graphics card model. Check the description for links to drivers for various video cards. I'm using an NVIDIA card, so I'll visit their site and click Download Now. Wait for the download to complete, then run the installer. Agree to the terms and install the driver. Open the NVIDIA app, go to the Drivers tab, and click Search for Software Updates. If updates are available, download and install them. Close the NVIDIA app, restart your computer, and try launching the game. Step 3. Adjust Graphics Settings Click the search box, type Graphics Settings, and open it. Find your game in the list or click Browse to add its executable. Note, I'm using a placeholder file called Game for this guide, don't get confused. Select the game, click Options, choose High Performance Mode, and Save. Close the window and proceed. Step 4. Verify game files on Steam. Launch Steam, go to your library, and locate the game. Again, my example uses a file named Game. Right-click the game, select Properties, and go to Installed Files. Click Verify Integrity of Game Files and wait for it to finish. Then, in File Explorer, right-click the game's executable, select Properties, and go to the Compatibility tab. Check Run this program in Compatibility mode and try Windows 7 or Windows 8. Enable Disable Full Screen Optimizations. The Run This Program as an Administrator option may cause issues, but test it. Only use Run in 640x480 resolution as a last resort as it reduces visual quality significantly. Click Apply and OK. Try launching the game. Step 5. Install DirectX and Visual C++ files. Open a web browser and visit the two websites listed in the description. On the first, download DirectX, accept the license, run the installer, and click Finish. On the second, download the three Visual C++ redistributable files. Install each by accepting the license and clicking Install. If one fails, don't worry, it may not support your processor, but the others should work. Click Close after each, repeat for all files, and restart your computer. Step 6. Check for Windows Updates. Click the search box, type Updates, and open Check for Updates. Click the button to search for updates. If any are found, download and install them, then restart your computer. Step 7. Disable unnecessary startup apps. Right-click the taskbar, select Task Manager, and go to Startup Apps. Disable apps you don't need at startup, close Task Manager, and restart your computer. Step 8. Add game to Windows Security Exclusions. Click the search box, type Windows Security, and open it. Go to Virus and Threat Protection, click Manage Settings, and scroll to Add or Remove Exclusions. Click Add an Exclusion, select the Games folder, and try launching the game. Step 9. Allow Game Through Firewall. Click the search box, type Firewall, and select Allow an App Through Windows Firewall. Click Change Settings, find your game, or add it via Allow Another App using my Game Placeholder. Enable it for private and public networks, then click OK. Test the game. Step 10. Run System File Checker. Click the search box, type CMD, right-click Command Prompt, and select Run as Administrator. Type SFC slash ScanNow and press Enter to repair corrupted system files. Wait for the process to complete, close the window, and restart your computer. These steps should resolve most crashing, freezing, launching, stuck, or black screen issues. Get back to gaming and have fun!